What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about a solid mining company that you definitely need to add to your watch list and portfolios, especially given the current market circumstances and so forth. So today I want to talk to you about Nevgold. So I'm going to go over all the things that you need to know. First, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So as you can see, the tickers are at the very top right here under the TSX Venture NAU OTC NAUFF. So definitely take Take a look at that as far as the chart purposes i'm going to be looking at nauff and so a couple of things as far as this company in specific so if you haven't invested in for instance a mining company in the past one thing that you really need to watch for is for instance this so where are they actually mining? Where's their projects? And this company is in the Americas. So they do have one in BC, two in Nevada, and one in Idaho, which is extremely positive because I've personally invested in some mining companies in the past that have had projects in third world countries. And sometimes those governments just say, you know what, that's it. You either pay us this massive overinflated amount or we're going to cut you off so for the company that is detrimental but for nevgold definitely being in the americas is a very safe haven so this in reality is a very big positive that i wanted to share with you and on a side note once again if you guys haven't invested in any otc stocks you normally don't get this good of a website as well. So again, that's a fairly positive thing. And plus over and above that, even looking at some of the latest news, you don't get consistent news typically in a OTC stock. So again, that is a very positive thing. And even generally speaking, looking at a lot of their recent news, it's been fairly positive. So again, I'm not gonna go into that in depth. I just wanted to kind of enlighten you on that. But on a side note, I am going to link their website in the description below. So I highly recommend you guys popping over there, taking a look and doing a little bit more of a deeper dive as well, because keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. But generally speaking, when you are, for instance, looking at the current environment, which is a very high interest, high inflation environment, a lot more articles are coming out now about investing in gold. And even if you look at, for instance, the price of gold, it has been very much consistently going up. And as you can see, it's been over around 2,000 for six consecutive days, which is a very big accomplishment. Even if you do, for instance, look at Nevgold though on that price, it's been lagging. And of course, when it comes down to very low market cap companies, such as Nevgold is only 18.8 .8 million, definitely when there is positive news that does come out for it, it goes up and it skyrockets very, very fast as what you can see right here, uh, typically in the past, or even just generally over here. But keep in mind during this time frame, even looking and comparing it to the price of gold, it's been very delayed. Inflation has been around for a while. Interest rates or high interest rate environments has been around for a while. But it's only been recently that people are starting to once again look at gold. So a little bit more of a delayed response and I I do anticipate people to start to look at a lot of these kind of uh, smaller cap companies to really invest in because like I said it's a kind of a known thing the fact that lower market cap companies go up very very fast and on a side note I just wanted to share this with you uh, just to go over so Nev Gold is an exploration and development company targeting large-scale mineral systems in the proven districts of Nevada Idaho and BC so Canada like I've already mentioned so I've been talking on gold quite a lot but they also do silver as well so again just be aware of that but like I said a lot of big articles are coming out even more specifically when the best time to buy gold and add it to your portfolio but in here as well they do talk on when inflation is high and of course data just came out today about CPI which aka is inflation a very good indicator well not good but it's a indicator of inflation and it came in at five percent so still very much around even looking at the month over month as you can see right here energy was down three and a half percent in insinuating the other basket items are still fairly high. So of course, inflation in the short term is still very much around. So of course, I think this is still a very good opportunity for gold to continue its rally up. And when it comes down to it, like I said, a lot of these companies that have been lagging in comparison to gold is and most likely will just have a very fast rocket up. And again, 
For those of you that are investing in cryptocurrencies, on a side note, I kind of found this interesting as well, just very much linked and correlated to gold. Texas gold-backed digital currency project, Law Decoded, and so a lot more uh, cryptocurrencies that are coming out now are kind of backed by gold. So it's a little bit more of a weird concept in that regard, but still definitely does show in signals that gold is here to stay and it's a very solid investment. So again, that's neither here nor there, but this company does look very fundamentally solid and sound and based on everything, it does have a fairly good balance sheet as well. So I highly recommend you guys taking a look at this company. And like I mentioned as well, I really wanted to uh, stress to you guys the importance of the Americas to this company and why that's actually a fairly big deal in general. But once again, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Are you investing in gold? Do you like gold? What is your takeaway from all this? So let me know your thoughts on all of that. Like I said, the tickers are at the very top. So NAU under the TSX Venture, NAUFF under the OTC. So once again, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. And without further ado, I appreciate you guys watching.